Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have n minus 5 and its whole square is equals to n cubed plus 1. We will solve this problem for the values of n. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first I can just add minus 9 on both of the sides. So when you can add this minus 9 on both of the sides then you will get its output in the form of n minus 5 whole squared minus 9 is equals to n cubed plus 1 minus 9. So here I can just add minus 9 on both of the sides and now we can simplify the terms and first I can rewrite this equation as here you have n minus 5 whole square minus we write this 9 as 3 square and is equal to here you have n cubed and plus 1 minus 9 is equal to minus 8. So here we need uh, two formulas. First I can rewrite its right hand side as n cubed minus 2 cubed. So here we need two formulas. Uh, which is right in this form a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a squared plus a b plus b square and the other one is a squared minus b squared it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we need these two formulas, uh, the cubic formula in the right hand side and the square formula we can apply in the left hand side. So now first I can apply this square formula in the left hand side. So its left hand side will be written in the form of n minus 5 into minus 3 times of n minus 5 plus 3 and its right hand side we can apply the cubic formula so it will be written in the form of n minus 2 times of n squared plus 2n plus 2 square so now uh, we need we can just apply here these two formulas on both of the sides and now we can simplify the terms here so you will get in the first in the left hand side we have n minus a times of n minus 2 and this is equals to n minus 2 times of n squared plus 2n plus 4. So now in the next step we move all the terms or all the factors in the left hand side to the right hand side because here these two factors are positive when we move in the right hand side you will get its negative so we can write n minus 2 times of n squared plus 2n plus 4 minus we move these two one here and you get n minus a times of n minus 2 and this whole is equals to 0 and now you can focus on both of the factors and you see that n minus 2 be the common factor so we can uh, take uh, common here and you will get n minus 2 times of n squared plus 2n plus 4 and we can take common n minus 2 and you will get here minus n plus 8 is equal to 0. Here I can multiply this minus sign on both of the terms then you will get minus n plus 8 is equal to 0. And in the next step we can just simplify the terms uh, and you will get here n minus 2 times of n squared and here you have 2n minus n is equals to n and 4 plus 8 is equals to plus 12 and this whole is equals to 0. So here we have two cases. The first case is we take n minus 2 is equal to 0 and the other case is we take n square plus n plus 12 is equal to 0. So in the first case you get the value of n is equals to 2. 
so this is the uh, our first factor of this uh, in nice uh, equation and now in order to find the other factors we can solve this nice quadratic equation so here you have quadratic equation and i can solve this uh, uh, problem for uh, by using the quadratic formula so here we have a is equals to 1 b is equals to 1 and c is equals to 12 and our quadratic formula will be written in the form of n is equals to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4 times of a c square root over 2 times of a so this is the our uh, quadratic formula and now we can put all the values of a b and c in this nice formula and you will get here its output here you have uh, uh, b is equals to 1 when you can put here you will get minus 1 plus minus b square and b is 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 12 and its whole square root over 2 times of a is 1 and now you can simplify the terms and you will get its output in the form of n is equals to here you have minus 1 plus minus and 1 square minus 4 times of 12 is equals to 48 so it will becomes 1 minus 48 square root over 2 so 1 minus uh, 48 is equals to minus 1 plus minus minus 47 square root over 2 and here you see that we have negative sign uh, uh, under the under this square root so uh, you know that it will be equals to iota so finally we will get here minus 1 plus minus 47 square root and iota over 2 so these are the other two factors of the given equation and these two factors are complex factors and this is the, our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos